as a healthcare professional, I'm always looking at ways that I can improve the lives of the patients that I care for. I see a lot of patients in clinic. They come from all walks of life, from different ages and different backgrounds. No two patients are the same, and each patient will have a different perspective on their wound type. But the thing that unites them all is that they want to get better. They often feel helpless and isolated, and they can't live the lives that they want to live. I want to work with those patients to help them get better. When I get to work, I know that this will be at the top of my patients' minds, and I want to work with my patients to give them the best quality care to improve their lives. When I'm assessing a patient with a wound, I like to use a holistic approach that incorporates a framework that is easy to use, that's simple and intuitive. The Triangle of Wound Assessment offers me such a framework that helps me assess the whole wound, starting with the wound bed, the wound edge and the peri-wound skin. It's a framework that's simple and easy to use. It's um, easy for patients to understand so I can involve those patients in their care. The Triangular Wound Assessment offers me an opportunity to improve my practice. When the Triangular Wound Assessment is incorporated into a holistic approach, it helps me to assess the wound. I look at all three areas of the wound, the wound bed, the wound edge and the peri-wound skin. I'm able to use the Triangular Wound Assessment to assess all types of wounds and it guides my management decisions so I can improve outcomes for patients. We start with a general assessment of the patient, looking at the underlying etiology of the wound and any factors that may impact on wound healing. We also look at the impact of the wound on the patient um, psychologically and we look at their social circumstances because all of that will impact on wound healing. We then do a more detailed wound assessment, looking at the size of the wound, the duration of the wound, and we use the framework from the triangular wound assessment to assess the wound bed, the wound edge, and the peri-wound skin. This helps us and informs our decision making and our treatment plan for the patient. The majority of patients that I see in clinic today will have a venous leg ulcer. When assessing a patient with a leg ulcer, it's important to do a holistic patient assessment that includes measurement of the ankle brachial pressure index to exclude peripheral arterial disease. We know that compression therapy is the gold standard of treatment for these patients, but we also need to treat the wound itself. So we assess the wound using the triangular wound assessment, looking at the wound bed, the wound edge and the peri-wound skin. And this helps us with our treatment decisions for that patient. Here we have a 68-year-old gentleman with a non-healing venous leg also. Using the triangular wound assessment, you can see that we've got a sloughy wound bed um, with dull granulation tissue. and um, We have high levels of exudate causing maceration to the peri-wound skin and the wound edges. Um, we debrided this wound, but the slough keeps returning. So we suspect we've got a biofilm here. So we've used the triangular wound assessment not just to assess the wound, but as part of our management plan, which includes cleansing the wound, debriding the wound, and managing the exudate. And to do that, we've treated the infection with an antimicrobial dressing for two weeks. And at the same time, we have continued with using compression therapy, which is the gold standard for managing venous leg ulcers. So in clinic today, we have this 43-year-old gentleman that presents with a non-healing venous leg ulcer. It is painful and it's malodorous. When we use the triangular wound assessment framework, we can see that there's granulation tissue here, but it's unhealthy, friable granulation tissue that bleeds easily. If we look at the wound edges and the peri-wound skin, we can see that it's macerated from high volumes of wound exudate and that's associated with um, a high bacterial load. So we suspect that this gentleman has an infection here. So we will treat him for two weeks with an antimicrobial dressing and we'll also give him some analgesia to manage his pain. At the same time, we will continue with his compression therapy, which we know is the gold standard for managing venous leg ulceration. I believe that using the triangular wound assessment makes a real difference to people's lives. It helps to improve their wound care outcomes and helps to heal those patients' wounds. But it's not just us using the triangular wound assessment, we want everyone to use the triangular wound assessment. And for that reason, we have incorporated the framework into all our education and training programs across the organisation.
The Triangle of Wound Assessment is a great framework to educate healthcare professionals. The feedback has been overwhelmingly positive from the nurses. They find it simple, easy to use and intuitive. They love the pictures and it helps them to identify problems at the wound bed, the wound edge and the peri-wound skin. And when they do that assessment, it helps them with their decision making and their treatment plan. The feedback from the nurses has also been because it's so simple and easy to use that it saves them time in their busy schedules. At the World Union of Wound Healing, we are launching this excellent document on the Triangle of Wound Assessment. This position document looks at using the Triangle of Wound Assessment in the assessment of all wound types, but particularly focuses down on venous leg ulcers and diabetic foot ulceration. This is an international position document that's readily available on the World Union of Wound Healing Society website and can be downloaded for everyone to use. At the end of the day, it's important for me to know that the work that I do makes a difference to people's lives. I want people to be able to resume the lives that they want to lead without a wound. Mm -hmm.